Many people understand the power of not only having a brand these days, but turning it into a full-blown media behemoth. The problem is they don't know how to separate the key strategies that are necessary to make that happen. It's the mat work. Bow. Bow. What's up everybody? Once again, it's Brand Man Sean, and today I want to discuss the three key strategies that are necessary to turn your brand into a media behemoth. Where do we start? The good old marketing phone. When we think about these three keys, the first one that I wanna talk about is your funnel. The funnel is necessary. What is your funnel strategy? I wanna talk about what your specific focus should look like and what that goal should be at that time. Awareness at this level, you should be making noise. This is why you see people troll, doing some ads. They make noise from commercials or in the Super Bowl. Whatever you're doing, you know, to go viral, right? You're just trying to make noise at this level. And when they say, you know, no PR or publicity is bad publicity as long as you get seen because so many people are struggling to even get known in the first place. Because right here, when we get to interest, what you want when we're talking about online media brands is consumption, keyword quantity. So if you see one video from me, now I want you to consume multiple videos from me. You can do this across multiple platforms or you can do it across one platform, which we'll get to. Right now, we're gonna talk about it through the context of one platform. So we can even think about it with, um, let's just say YouTube, let's work with YouTube. You had this one YouTube video that just takes off. It goes viral. You might've did something stupid, some challenge, uh, a dare, whatever you do, right? It just goes viral. But the next thing you want from people is to watch more of your YouTube videos. Two videos, three videos, four videos. If you're an artist that might be listening to one song, two songs, three songs, right? Because once I like four of your songs, now I actually can say I know you. I actually can say I like you. You might not be my favorite artist in the world yet, but I know you, I like you. You might not be my favorite influencer in the world, but I, I recognize you and we start to build something and the same thing goes for a brand. Consider, your whole goal here is branding, communicating the value. The value for an artist, right, could be different than a value for a business because you might be trying to sell a product at the end of that, right? Or you might be just trying to be an authority, become some type of authority, but you need to create some kind of value. Now, again, products is one thing, but also you can just stick with your belief system. What do you believe in, right? That can come from the aesthetic, the background, right? Are you wearing a suit all the time? That even hints to the values that you have. You know, is it politics? There's so many ways to communicate your value. Right here is deepening the relationship. How do you do that here at this level? A transaction. What I mean by that? Well, if you're an artist, that means go on tour. Get somebody to, to pay for a show because this is where I start to draw a line and understand and get some sense of information. And then last but not least, separate. Because all these people on this level right here, that's action. They're actually making transactions, but there's different levels of it. So you want to separate your loyalists, your fanatics from people who actually just, you know, engage with you. So if we think about an artist again, that's someone, you know, you might go on a tour with an artist in terms of like, okay, I go to a Beyonce show, but that doesn't mean that I'm consuming everything that Beyonce drops. That doesn't mean that I'm going to subscribe to her platform or buy her clothes. There's a lot of people who will transact with you in multiple ways because they're fans enough but they're not those people who are saying, oh, I'm gonna scoop every single thing up. So you wanna figure out how to separate. Awareness down to loyalty. Each of these levels has a varying level of content quality. And what people mess up is they're always trying to focus on looking so good. They have so much perfection in mind. Or you have some of those people who just are so loose with it and that's cool for getting awareness and growing. But when we talk about quality content, that's when brand starts to come in mind. And if you never get down there, you never push too many people down to this level, right? So being on, on both ends of the spectrum without having the other, they never do well. But put your energy at each of these levels into more quality as you go down. So I'm not worried about the depth of the quality when I'm talking about just awareness. I just wanna get your attention. It's about quantity, because sometimes you don't even know necessarily what's gonna be the thing that takes off. If you put a content in a bucket beforehand, that'll help you just say, oh, this is only awareness. I need to just make sure I get this out, right? This is intent where I want people to truly, truly be engaged, they're really fans and they're learning more about me, then I need to become more detailed. If I have a product, I have a business, then I might need to show a lot of expertise. It might be so monotonous that it's almost a classroom type level of material. 
where this this video right here is somewhere here and down consideration and down by nature right you're not gonna this isn't a go viral video but anybody watching this type of video will already have a certain level of interest in that subject and the same thing will go for you where if you're an influencer like let's say Charlie D'Amelio or something like that this might be something that's more personal to her not just I'm dancing on the platform of, of TikTok but I'm showing my family I'm vlogging all right but it's deeper in relationship you can always revert back to the same way you think about dating and the level of information that's necessary at each stage of dating and the depth of that information the amount of, of information all right first you're just saying surface level stuff all right you're at awareness of the quality of your content is superficial it might be meaningful but in context of who you are in connection with you specifically you might be connecting talking about history or a movie and it could be great conversations about those things but it's not about you specifically it's just subjects out there and it becomes more and more about you more about the authority you have right an in-depth video that's breaking things down into details expert level beginner to expert level if you're somebody who's just doing like an educational brand or something like that it's more and more detail and quality of content is more potent as you get down here and even when we think about transactions if you're going to somebody's tour that's different than subscribing to them monthly it's a certain level of relationship so keep that in mind you're going to have a certain type of content that wouldn't be this general content as you get higher and higher all right, I decided to stop and actually redraw a funnel so I can make it a lot clearer. I didn't want to confuse and lose anybody when I communicate this idea because it's so important. Look at it this way. Your primary platform, when it comes to the distribution strategy and how you're focusing there, it's a lot different than those other two parts of the strategy because you have one platform that's really covering most 80% of your actual funnel, right? Your primary platform will be your way of creating awareness and there'll be a way of having people interested in you and getting down to that consideration level. They start to want to be a part of your tribe, desire, right? They're going all the way down that. They can do all of that on that platform. If you're building your audience all off of Spotify, they're going to become aware of you. They're going to hear multiple songs and then they hear multiple songs enough to start to say, whoa, I really like this artist, but they're not going to really make those transactions and become super, super loyal on that platform, right? Because they, you can't make that separation. All that stuff is your first and primary platform. When it comes to other social media, there's this other level that we haven't discussed yet. And that's funnel fillers. If YouTube is number one, then you have Instagram with your clips of YouTube, you have TikTok, Twitter, all these spaces that are using clips from your YouTube. Those are making people aware of your content on YouTube, or they're making people aware of you and eventually they find your YouTube channel. You might have a Instagram or a TikTok where people are finding out about you with this filler content that just creates awareness, this surface, surface level awareness because it's lacking depth, but then they find out about your Spotify because they saw these other things. But your primary platform is gonna handle 80% of the work, right? You want people to become aware of you on that platform, but that's why it's so important to focus on that primary platform and put that energy in it more than anything else. And then do your redistribution on other platforms and then maybe have some things catered to it if it's your secondary platform, but know that that's gonna handle most levels. And then you can have secondary platforms where you might only do some branding work or communicate that value on that consideration level, right? You might have a Patreon where it's a subscription. So you're really talking to loyalists and there's content there or an OnlyFans, right? So you can have other platforms at each of these levels. Just know that from a pure content and relationship building level, your primary platform is gonna handle 80% of the work. So those are the three strategies that you have to make happen if you wanna turn your brand into a digital media empire. Each of those areas has its own word that you want to keep in mind, right? For your funnel, it's focus. What is the focus, the goal at every single level, right? We already talked about that. Go to the beginning of the video. Content, what is the quality that you're thinking about at every single level. And then last but not least, distribution, right? What's the energy that you're associating to every single level? The, the content, almost everything. When you talk about distribution, everything we talked about, how much of it goes into that particular platform, right? Platform is the word when it comes to distribution. What platform does that focus and quality of content go to 
and so on and so on. So that's it for this video. We have so much more content like this coming. So if you like content like this, right, if you're a business owner, if you're an influencer, artist, we have so much more of it coming. Make sure you subscribe, hit that notification bell. Please go ahead and hit that notification bell so you can make sure you become aware when we drop new videos, YouTube won't show it to you otherwise. And other than that, make some suggestions on other type of content that you would like to see. And I'm gonna answer you know, any kind of questions I see in a comment. Look forward to hearing your thoughts. Let's get to it. Peace.